is a 4-H, uh, Greenlink 4-H archery project. Um, archery project is uh, a club that gets kids together um, to get bow shooting into their, uh, into their daily routine, hopefully, give them a, a, another sport, something to do, um, something different to learn other than the video game. Uh, we want them outside, we want them to enjoy nature, and this is a, a, another way of, of getting them outside to enjoy something different uh, that hopefully they can begin at an early age and continue on through their adult life. Um, so I'm going to go through the safety rules um, of this, and there are 12 safety rules that we try to that we do follow um, uh, for the for the ranges. Uh, so the first rule is to follow the instructions of the range commander. Uh, the range commander is uh, the person who is in uh, total control of the range at the time of the shooting. So he will direct you what to do and when to do it, and you're supposed to. Uh, we, we want you to follow his lead um, in those. Uh, the second item is to always uh, use proper safety equipment. Safety equipment in bow shooting may be a finger tab, uh, maybe a glove that you can, can wear uh, that's made just for archery so that uh, it doesn't injure your fingers. After you shoot a little while, it becomes very tender and your fingers get sore. So that's a, a, a safety item. Also, we have a, a arm guard that you can put on. It's a leather, uh, leather strap that they put on their forearm so that if the string contacts their arm, um, it, it doesn't leave a, a bruise or a red spot. It, it's very painful. So, um, second is, uh, or third uh, rather, is always use arrows of the proper length for you. So, if you are shooting a bow and the, the arrows are too short, um, and you draw that arrow back, if it's too short, it may drop off the rest, which could then um, impale your, your hand, your wrist, your arm. Um, or it could just fall off of there. It, it could go someplace you don't want it to. So we always want to make sure that the arrow is a proper length so that that doesn't happen. Uh, always inspect your equipment before shooting. I want you to inspect the, the bow for any damage. The string may be frayed, may be torn. Um, the cams may be loose or worn. Uh, the bows may have a crack in them. There may be some loose screws or something that that hold everything together. So we want you to take a look at that just to make sure everything looks to be in good shape and, and we don't have any failures with the equipment. Um, the fifth is uh, wear snug fitting clothes, tie back any long hair, uh, remove any large earrings, clear off any pins or anything that's uh, in your chest pockets. Um, we do this um, so that if you have long hair and you're pulling the bow back, that hair could get stuck in that string as you're as you're pulled back you may not know that again your earrings if you have earrings in uh, they can get tangled in the string when you release that bow with your hair or earring or something in your pockets or a pin in your chest and you release that uh, it's going to pull your hair it's going to take the earring uh, probably pull it out of your ear it's going to be very painful um, so we want everything tied back in a safe manner so that nobody gets injured uh, always aim and shoot at a defined target um, so we don't want you just shooting up into the air, we don't want you shooting at the ground, um, we don't want you shooting at rocks. Um, you're going to want a nice target to shoot at um, so that the arrow is controlled. Uh, always be sure the area around and behind your target is clear before you shoot. Uh, here at the range, we have a, a, the indoor range, we have a large room with a backstop in the back. There's nothing back there. If we're in the outdoor range, uh, we want to make sure that the area is clear. We're not shooting up against the back of a building, um, that there may be people in. Um, there's no animals in the background. We want a nice clear area to shoot. Um, uh, point draw and aim your arrow only in the direction of your target. Again, you don't want to shoot up into the air. You don't want to shoot into a rock, uh, something like that. Um, you don't want to pull the bow back and start talking to somebody in turn. Um, as you have that drawn back. When you draw, you draw the arrow back, you want to draw back only in the direction of the target you're going to shoot at. Never dry fire your bow. If you dry fire your bow, that means you're pulling the string back without an arrow in it and you're releasing it. Um, you don't ever want to do that. If you do that, the string can actually break. Um, the string can come off the cams. Uh, the, the arms of the bow could actually shatter by dry firing it. So we want to be very careful that that doesn't happen. Always walk, never run on the archery range. Um, we want, we don't want any accidents on the archery range. So uh, walk out, get your arrows, walk back. If you're running with arrows in your hands and you trip and fall, you could injure yourself, you could injure somebody next to you. So uh, just walk, it's not a race. We wanna be careful. 
Shoot only with the knowledge and approval of your parents. So if you're shooting at home or on the range, you want to make sure your parents know where you are uh, and, and where you are shooting. So if you're at home and you're shooting in the backyard, your parents should know that you're there, that you're not shooting towards a house, some animals that might be there. You want to make sure that you're safe. Follow the whistle commands of the range commander. We have some whistle commands that we go through to, um, to guide and direct you in what you should be doing on the range. Um, one whistle, uh, two whistle blasts is um, archers to the shooting lane. So when you hear two, sh two uh, whistle blasts, you will uh, straddle the, the starting line and put the bow on your toe and wait for the, the next command. Once everybody is in position and ready to shoot, the archery uh, commander then, range commander, will uh, whistle blast one blast. That means you can begin shooting. Uh, once everybody is completed shooting and the area is safe, uh, he will have three whistle blasts. That means that everybody's done shooting, the area is safe, and you can go uh, to re either retrieve your arrows or go to the uh, target and wait for the uh, other instructors to score your, your target. If you hear four more blasts, four blasts, five blasts, he'll maybe one long blast, a whole bunch of them quickly, uh, that means something happened. Uh, if we're in the outdoor range, possibly an animal entered the, the range, uh, possibly somebody got injured, there's something happened that we want you to stop shooting so that uh, we can take care of whatever needs to be done in a safe manner. Uh, so those are our 12 rules that we have and we follow those uh, each time we're out on the range. Um, and hopefully you follow them at home also.